afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is Wednesday, March 29, 2017, and I am Alejandra Erin. And I'm Dan Hernandez. On today's show, we'll take a look at a new business in Stephenville. And how a missing man and a python are connected. These stories and more coming up next on Texan TV. <laughs> In Campus News, Alpha Omicron Pi is having their annual Smoke Out Arthritis Philanthropy event. The event will be from 4 to 10 p.m. at the Stephenville City Park. There will be live music, food, and yard games. T-shirts will be on sale for $20. Dogs are welcome to come to the event. All the money raised at the event will go towards Arthritis and Juvenile Arthritis Foundations. Make sure to stop by City Park today and donate to a great cause. In local news, owner Cynthia Huckabee is set for the grand opening of Silver Wings, a new boutique shop located on the Courthouse Square here in Steubenville. Silver Wings is celebrating its grand opening at 10 a.m. on Saturday and will be giving away gift bags to the, to the first 50 customers who spend $50. The boutique showcases fashionable athletic and everyday wear at affordable prices and offers a number of brands, as well as handmade jewelry. Huckabee former worked for the family business Star Arms and has always wanted her own store. She also says a store would suit women of all ages and sizes and said we want everybody to be able to come in and find something. For more information, you can follow them on Facebook and Instagram at Silver Wings Boutique or give them a call at 254-968-1131. And now today's Texas National and International News from the Associated Press. The governor of a northern Mexico state says his predecessor has fled to Texas to evade accusations of corruption. Chihuahua Governor Javier Corral says ex-Governor Cesar Duarte says has gone to the border of the city of El, pa uh, El Paso, Texas and is considered a fugitive from justice. Corral said Tuesday at a news conference that officials will seek to have an international arrest and extradition order issued. He said three former officials from Duarte's inner circle have been detained. Duarte is suspected of heading a ring of corruption for personal enrichment. In, Cor in Corral's words, he who steals from the government does not steal just a few cents or some million dollars. He steals opportunities and hope. The next governor of Veracruz is also being sought on su uh, suspicion of corruption. Both belong to the ruling party. In national news, Russian billionaire Oleg Deripaska will take part in the U.S. congressional hearing concerning the 2016 presidential election. Deripaska will take the stand after a series of interviews revealed that President Trump, former campaign chair Paul Manafort, reached out to him in a memo proposing that he could do work that would benefit the Putin government. The memo also included a detailed plan that would benefit government that extended the Libya branch to Russia. It has not been announced exactly when Deripaska will take the stand. However, he says he is ready to take part in the hearing in order to defend his reputation and his name. In international news, a 25-year-old Indonesian man has been swallowed whole by a python on the island of Sulawesi, villagers and reporters said. The video of the Tribune Timor publication shows its villagers slicing open the python carcass to reveal the legs and torso of the dead victim named Akbar. Jonaidi, the secretary of Salubiro village in West Sulawesi province, told the Associated Press that villagers began searching for Akbar Monday night after realizing he hadn't returned from working on his palm oil crops the previous day. Junaidi said Wednesday that the search party found a scattered palm oil fruit, a picking tool, and a boot, and then spotted the engorged 7-meter, 23-foot-long reticulated python. When its stomach was cut, was cut, we first saw his boot and legs near the neck, he said. It seems we it was attacked from behind because we found a wound on his back. For more of today's national and interna in, in international news, we turn to the AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. House Intelligence Committee Chairman Devin Nunes says that he won't remove himself from the investigation of Russia's interference in the 2016 election. Democrats accuse him of showing loyalty to the Trump administration instead of commitment to the investigation. British Prime Minister Theresa May is due to formally begin the United Kingdom's exit from the European Union on Wednesday. She's expected to invoke Article 50 of the EU Treaty, beginning a two-year countdown. Three storm chasers died in West Texas when their two vehicles collided on a rural road. They were apparently pursuing video of tornadoes in the area. And Hillary Clinton delivered her first speech since losing the presidential election. She spoke to a business women's organization meeting in San Francisco. Shirley Smith, The Associated Press, with AP News Minute. 
in sports, Tarleton's baseball team is currently on a five-game losing streak after dropping a conference series to Texas A&M Kingsville. In the last game of the series, the Texans were ahead 7-5 heading into the sixth inning. But Kingsville stormed back, scoring seven runs in the next three innings while the Texans only scored three in the same span. The Texans look to bounce back at home Friday in a series against Angelo State at 3 p.m. Well, I hope the baseball team is able to bring that around, Danny, but I hear the softball team is doing pretty well. Can you tell me more about them? And they're actually doing extremely well. The Texas softball team is on a roll, winning eight straight games. They put away Western New Mexico this weekend with their biggest win in the series, coming on Friday with a score of 25-1. to 1. The Texans will also play Angelo State at home this weekend, starting at Friday at 6 p.m. Now for weather, it's a partly cloudy day at Tarleton with a high of 79 and a low of 48. Keep an eye out this afternoon for a few showers here and there following last night's thunderstorms. It looks like we'll get a little break after the storms as both Thursday and Friday are supposed to bring sunny skies and highs in the 70s and 80s. But the break won't last long. The stormy weather will begin again Saturday afternoon and will continue through the rest of the weekend. This has been a production of the Texan TV News, uh, News, Texan TV News a product of the Texan TV News Service from the Tarleton State University in Steamville, Texas. Watch us live on Apple D Channel 2.1 in the dorms at 12.30 weekdays. If you live off campus, tune in on Northland Cable Channel 9. You can follow the Texan News Service on Facebook and Twitter. Check out our website, www.texannews.net, for all of your latest local, state, national, and international news. Today's broadcast was produced by Ariel Steele, Rebecca Hernandez, Sydney Burns, Latricia Powell, Mar and Marquis Daughtery. Have, Have a, a wonderful, wonderful day, day Texans. Texans.